on card live stream. A little bit of a busy day for me. We we're doing some cleaning. You want to see the trash pile? Remember the trash pile was like towering so high it was going to reach the lamps? Look at it now. Woo, where did it all go? Oh man, what a busy day for me. Not only that, but look at the book pile. Oh, the book pile's been cleaned enormously. Look at that. Crazy. There's a little bit of room on the table. I'm not used to it. There's a little bit of room on the table. Oh, that's my sriracha sitting on the table. That can't be here. I haven't made any new custom booster packs, so we're just picking up wherever we were off last night. Probably should have made some more. Uh, I didn't even get a normal amount of sleep, man. I didn't get enough sleep last night. He says, there's the room I know. Pretty wild. Uh, some days I got to work on that. Today I was supposed to go live on the Game Economist channel and, and play some Monster Hunter, but uh, I decided to go live here with you guys instead. Oh, we got this card over here. What's this all about? I need to move these somewhere. What is all this stuff? There's like areas of the table opening up that I never have access to. Good afternoon, mister. How's the house hunting going? Any good news? Uh, no good news. No bad news either, I guess. Uh, there was the guy we put the offer in. He removed his house from the market. I guess he decided he didn't want to sell anymore. Maybe he did, He wasn't getting the offers he wanted. And then uh, right now we're currently looking at a fixer-upper property for $400,000. Really expensive. It's got like four homes on it, though. And if we could buy it and start to fix the homes, we could rent them out. I mean, it could be a money-making opportunity, but neither of us really planned on, on doing that extra work because we're both full-time workers already, so we don't really need to do that. We could just keep doing whatever it is we do. So that's the other option, the other house we're looking at right now. We thought about buying the fixer-upper and bulldozing the other homes and then just fixing one house and having a really nice, huge yard. So that's another option. How's it going, Bud Thompson? Happy Thursday. That's right, it's Thursday. I still haven't shipped Mr. Eduardo Rincon. I haven't done much anything else today, so I'm a little bit behind. He says, wow, four buildings for 400000 seems pretty good. Uh, not if you saw them. They're in really bad sort of a state of disrepair. They're really, they're really messed up. So each one of them would require a pretty substantial amount of money to remodel. And then if there's any serious foundational problems to the house or, or very serious mold or, you know, problem with the pipes or something, uh, that would be an issue as well. And the dock leading out to the water is really old and kind of falling apart, kind of dangerous even. So it's got its ups and downs. We're like, we could buy it for 400 and pour like $200,000 into it to fix it and then rent it out. Or we could just move into a $600,000 home and and keep working like normal. So just do a classic 80 repair montage. Oh, why didn't I think of that? Let me take my shirt off and get a constructor worker belt. It could be the Mr. Mansion like Giovanni. I know, right? You could all move out and hang out with me. Sounds like you got to put in $200,000 minimum. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Uh, somebody tried to buy it earlier, but then they, they went back and decided not to buy it. So that makes me nervous too. And my wife and I are not experts at buying fixer-uppers, so we have no idea. Oh, four homes. I'll rent one if you allow me to grow and smoke the reefer in my rental. <laughs> I probably would. You should just live in a classic BRV. I got to live in a house where I can secure the, the cards really well. So that's my number one priority. Are you up to buying land and building one? Yeah, we thought about doing that. Uh, you know, there's a plot of land we can buy, but it was like 300000 so, you know, it's kind of like we would have to put a house there anyways, and it costs a lot of money to build a dock. Yeah, it's something we thought about. The title's very clever. You like it? The early Pidgey gets the Caterpie. You're at work. I'm sorry, Snorlax. Speaking of apologizing, I had to apologize to Alex PSX. You know, I was letting him trade. It was an awesome trade for me. He was trading me a huge bag of hit cards for a spot on the fossil. I reneged on the deal. I got to sell him for cash. And that's because the whole point of selling the box was being able to move. So I gave him back his wonderful bag of hits. Maybe you guys, one of you guys would be happy to uh, buy off his bag from him and put him back onto this list. I don't know. Uh, but I realized I'm, I would never give this box up except that I'm trying to move. That's the only reason I'm selling off these packs. Sorry, Mr. Alex. I told him that in a private message. 
I already explained it. Yeah, I, I went to bed and I was thinking about it in my sleep. I'm like, what are you doing, man? You're so, I, I don't even think I should open one for myself. I'm supposed to be raising cash so I can move. So no harm done, though. It's not like Alex's cards are any different. It's just a reversal on the transaction. It was a pretty generous, it was a pretty generous trade anyways. You know what I mean? He was giving up his, it really is a very, let me show you the size of the bag so you understand. Do you see this? This is his hit bag. He was giving this entire thing up for one booster pack of fossils. So, you know, he, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Mr. Alex, yeah, I'm sorry. It, it, the, the deal was so tempting. It's like I couldn't say no. That was, that was why I went through with it. But I really do need to start raising cash so we can move. I would trade all my belongings just to have Misty fa fart me. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, so you can see why I went through with the trade initially. It's because it has so much in it. Uh, but really, uh, I need to be selling those packs for cash. Ella, re, Nick. Speen, speen. Speen, speen. That's right. We're speening the ring. So how you guys been? What's the day? It's Thursday, right? Are you guys excited for Friday? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Any Japanese vintage packs for sale, mister? Well, I could make those for sale. Those are really supposed to be for my TikTok videos. In fact, I opened up a very special pack over on TikTok today. I opened up this Neo Destiny booster pack on TikTok. So if you guys have not followed me on TikTok or you uh, forget to keep up with me over there, go take a look at my latest video to see what came out of that. It would have been my latest video. What are the hit cards in Fossil? Yeah, that's a great that's a great question. Uh, I tell you what, let's open up the Pokey Collector so we can take a look at Fossil. Excuse me if I sniffle quite a bit. I'm having definitely a lot of allergies right now. It's allergy season. So I'm over here dying a little bit. All right. So the Fossil Collection's really, really good. One of the best collections out there for collecting vintage. It's been around for a long time. And here are the cards in the collection. You ready? Okay. We've got Aerodactyl, Articuno, Ditto. The big one is this guy right here. This old Fossil Dragonite goes for a ton of money. Gengar is also really popular from the set. So you have the original Dragonite and the original Gengar in this set. You know, if you remember in the Pokemon base set, right, the really old base set, the base set had Dragonair in it and it had Haunter in it, but it didn't have Dragonite and it didn't have Gengar, and then it finally releases those two Pokemon uh, in the Fossil set. You also have a Holographic Haunter, which I find really interesting because there already was a Haunter in the base set. So they decided, you know what, let's make another one and make it rare. So Pokemon initially really liked Haunter, I'm guessing. Hitmonlee's in here, as well as Kabutops, so those are just okay pulls. Hypno's really not that popular either. This one's a big deal, though. The Lapras, if you can pull a PSA 10 Lapras out of that fossil box, I'm sure it goes for crazy amounts of money because the pop on the Lapras is really low. So every time you open up a box of fossil, you're giving yourself a chance to pull a 10 Lapras out. Uh, Magneton's definitely a weaker pull. Uh, it just is what it is. People don't like Magneton as much. Moltres is another one of the hot pulls from the box. People really like the Moltres. He goes for a lot of money. Uh, also, here's Muck. He's pretty weak, but here's Raichu. He's a really, once again, kind of like Moltres and uh, Gengar. He's one of the stronger pulls in the set. Yep, so uh, you get Pikachu common in the base set, and then you get Raichu in the base set, and they like Raichu so much that they release him again in the fossil set. Pretty interesting, huh? Same with the Zapdos. So Zapdos is also in the uh, both the base set and the fossil set. A lot of crossover. And then, of course, there's a lot of non-hollow uh, rares. So you can pull all the same cards. Like, if you pull this non-hollow Dragonite first edition and it's a non-hollow rare, very gradable, worth a lot of money. Uh, so here they all are. They show up again. Now, that's different from Gym Heroes. Think about it. With Gym Heroes, there were non-hollow rares, except those non-hollow rares were exclusively non-hollow rares. With the, the non-hollow rares in the Fossil set, uh, you can get every one of these as a rare. So I think these are a little less collectible than the non-hollow rares in the Gym Heroes set, but they're still collectible. That's the truth. Somebody will collect every single card from the Fossil set. Uh, we have the Common and Commons. Nothing too crazy going on. Here's the Omastar. Makes you wonder why Kabutops was considered rare and Omastar was an uncommon. Who knows? Here's Slowbro, one of my favorites. So the Slowpo and so Slowpoke are two of my favorite cards from the Fossil set when you're talking about the common uncommons. Here's Weezing, Ekans. Here we go. And then this, I've been told the Psyducks, the most popular common uncommon from the Fossil set. 
But I actually prefer this one down here, the Slowpoke. I just think that the art style is really cool. But they're both pretty good. And Slowpoke and Psyduck are both pretty popular. That's why in the Unified Minds collection, you can get them together. Okay, so that's the Fossil collection. What we can do now is take a quick look at some of the price tags on these. So I'm going to help you guys take a look and see the value in them. One fun thing to always do is to take a look at the PSA 10 common uncommons. So here we go. Here's the PSA 10 Psyduck from Fossil. So if you simply pull a common Psyduck first edition and get it to grade 10, which isn't terribly hard to do when you're talking about common uncommons, uh, he goes for $250 by himself, quite a bit. In fact, when that one sells, he jumps all the way up to $400, okay? So he's a pretty pricey card. I'm going to take a look at a few others. Again, I really like the uh, the slow poke from this set, so I'm going to see what he goes for. Probably not as much. Okay, so here's the slow poke, and I can see him going for... Here we go. The cheapest one is down here for 140. So the the Psyduck really is the most popular uh, by almost hundred dollars more. Slowpoke's not too bad though. I mean, what if you pull both of them in the same box? That's really nice. Uh, and then uh, let's take a look at the Dragonite. I haven't seen Dragonite in a while. Dragonite's the hit in the box. He's like pulling the he's like pulling Charizard out, right? He's the card you want. And I haven't looked at his price in a while, so this is interesting for me too. It looks like we got a new listing. Okay, so according to this, the cheapest Dragonite is listed for $7,000. And we don't always know what that means even. You know, somebody might have already considered buying him and they might have looked at the pictures real close and gone, you know, he's not in good shape. That might be the case. He might be a week, a week 10. You can actually tell the labels for these PSA slabs are old labels, right? So he wouldn't be the same as when you pull him out of the box, he'll be freshly graded. So if you pull the 10 and it's a freshly graded 10, you probably come up here and ask for like 9,000. Like this guy, he said, you know what? I'm only going to settle for like 8.6 thousand. He might have a good reason for that. He might think that his Dragonite's a strong 10. And uh, yeah, so he's a really popular card. I've got one myself, one of the very first cards I bought because I knew I had to have them says here he sold, oh, that's the highest price, huh? Let's use ended recently. All right, so he sold recently for about under 7.3 thousand. Pretty consistent with what we're seeing. That's the chase card. Now, if you were to pull something like Gengar, actually what we can do is we can sort out these pulls by price and take a look at the most expensive ones. This is what you can pull out of the box, by the way, guys, out of a box of fossil. Part of the reason why these booster boxes have really climbed in price, right? Okay, so we got some Dragonites. There's an Articuno for 10,000. And, and this is PWCC Vault with 30 watchers, which is usually a good indica indicator that there's not a lot of those for sale available. Uh, we've got... Here's the Lapras. Remember I mentioned the Lapras. Lapras is low pop, so... If you can pull a 10 Lapras out of our box, you might have an $8,000 card. Here's another Articuno. That one's 6.5. Remember, we're going top down. We're going most expensive to cheapest. Uh, here's 14 people watching a $4,800 Gengar card. Yeah, that sounds sounds about right. Here's 4,000. Here we go. 3.3 thousand. He's getting a little cheaper as we scroll down. And... I don't see him anymore. This is 9.5 lappers. It's not the same as 10. So this might be the cheapest Gengar right here at 3.2. So you can you can buy him outright or you can open up your own pack. Your pack will have, you know, we'll weigh them out so that you get only the heavy packs, right? And assuming you, you pull a heavy because only about one third of the people will, right? Is that the math? So you'll get a heavy pack. Maybe you'll get a 10 Gengar out of there. And you'll go from having like an $800 booster pack with me to having like a $3,000 card after grading costs. But then you also have all of the common and commons in the booster pack, which are also gradable. So it's, it's pretty fun being part of the box breaks. And, you know, not everyone does extremely well, but a few people do, don't they? A few people do hit gold and, and walk away with basically a gold nugget. Just like we did the gym heroes and uh, somebody pulled the... 
explains Moltres is just one of the hot pulls that were, were taken. And that was looking like a 10, and that's like a $10,000 card. So that's what's so exciting about box breaks. The reason why you might consider a box break, you got a reputable dealer. He takes the risk when the box is open, you know, assuming that the cards are not counterfeited. Uh, he takes that risk off of your hands. You get it recorded, so you can record yourself in the box break. That's always a little bit fun, right? It's a little bit of a social thing. And uh, I will help you by weighing out the packs. And especially, probably the most valuable thing in a box break is that you know nobody's already pulled the best card. So in a fresh box, you know nobody has already pulled the Dragonite. That's kind of a really big deal because it means you have a shot at the best pull in that box. Nobody else has searched it and taken it out already. Okay. I ate Taco Bell last night, and now I have diarrhea. Oof, mister, that sounds that sounds like a rough ride. Sounds like you got a raw deal, so to speak. Man, Taco Bell. Fast food companies, what do they really feed us? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, so that's the... Well, we've covered all the fossil stuff. Uh, I'm doing my packs at $7.95, and... You know, every time you make a purchase on one of those packs, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a donation toward me trying to get a down payment on a, on our, our real home home, you know what I mean? Like an actual house. And I'll be living like a normal person and not in a tiny condo drowning in, in cardboard. So, you know, I appreciate anyone who gets into the uh, box break. Really, I do. And you don't have to be in the box break if you don't want to. So it's as simple as that. Let's go ahead and get the PayPal going. We're going to see who's opening some cards today. Mister, can you show the Vaporeon PSA? The Vaporeon PSA. Vaporeon PSA. Do I have a Vaporeon? I have a Dark Ray. A Dark Ray Umbreon. Here's a Flareon. I don't think I have a Vaporeon. Are you talking about the Umbreon Espeon? I don't know what you mean. So if you're thinking of Vaporeon um, out of the box break, Vaporeon comes out of jungle. Speaking of which, I need a jungle box. You know, after I move, I'm probably going to save up and eventually buy a jungle box. I have a Japanese Neo... I have a Japanese Neo Gen Gengar. Is that worth anything? Neo Gengar. I can only think of one Gengar from the uh, Neo generation. Uh, the Dark Gengar. Is that what you're... Per I think I have a Dark Gengar in my box over there. Check the right stack again, mister. Oh, I'm, okay. Let's see. Pidgeot. We got Pidgeot, Golduck, and Tyranitar. Last card at the back on the right. What? <laughs> You're confusing me, mister. We used to have a Vaporeon, but it, it went out in a large custom. He says, oh, it's cold up. <laughs> In fact, it is. I need to get some of those vintage Japanese booster packs. I know, they're, they're nice. And remember, when you open up a Japanese vintage booster pack, especially if you buy them one at a time, you're definitely not guaranteed a 10, and you might be buying a damaged card. I just opened up a... A Japanese vintage pack, and it had a scratch in the front, an unnatural scratch. I think it occurred while the sealed pack was being held, unfortunately. So that's how it goes sometime, unfortunately. How much is a vintage booster pack? So for the fossil box break, I'm asking for $795 per pack right now. And um, we just started it last night. I haven't made any announcements about it at all. When we get to later in the box, it'll be 833 per pack. Have any Team Rocket Return EXs in PSA 10 for sale? Uh, I could get one out, I suppose. That's, that's my favorite set, and I would sell you one of those cards for a crazy high price if you wanted to pay a crazy high price. Uh, but I don't think you will, so I'm not going to go digging it out and you know showing it off. Okay. Mr. Austin Cochran. What's up, man? He says, hey, Mr. Two Shiny Fates. I have a bag with one card in it. Sounds good. How's it going, Austin? 
Do you have any shiny cardboard? I've lost a shiny cardboard. I'm like a shiny cardboard expert over here. Yo, did you guys see this? Some of you guys are just arriving. Look at my book pile. I cleaned up so much of it. Somebody bought 60 pounds of book off of me. Holy. Holy moly, man. That was pretty wild. It took me a long time to pack it. I, I worked on it like all morning. We got Cacnea and Ditto VMAX. Do a Call of Legends. You know, uh... When it comes to those old sets, I really don't like their hit cards as much as the WotC sets. I really like the WotC sets the most. Why don't you put bulk in those blue bins? Blue bins. What are you referring to? 60 pounds. Yeah, I could barely lift it. I was like, ugh! <laughs> no, I'm... It was real heavy. Okay, Mr. Austin. Austin, I'm sorry. Nothing too wild coming out of there. Let's see. Albert. Andrew. Alex. Andrew. Adam. Adrian. Adnan. Austin. Here we are. When's the next PSA return, Miss Dole? Oh, yeah, that's another thing. PSA contacted me and told me that uh, we have a Tier 2 submission returning. I think it only has about eight cards in it, though, so it's not a very large return. Uh, they are taking absolutely forever with our latest large submission, the oldest one, I mean. And uh, it says it's in the grading process, but they are taking their sweet-ass time on it because it has not progressed in almost a full month. So PSA is really slow. We all know it. They're pretty slow. Mister, I bought CS Mint's Golden Burbs card. I fell asleep before you went live last night. Did he message you? A boot it. He did message me a boot it. Uh, be sure to tell me when it's time for you to ship that uh, I need to grab that, okay? So if you leave me a PayPal message or whatever, or you're just talking to me, be sure to tell me to include it. Why do stores want to buy bulk? Like, what is it used for? I guess they make little kid packs, little random card pull packs and if they can buy the bulk cheap enough then it turns a profit for them it works kind of like this um if you were to buy 10 of these and you paid 30 cents on 10 cards then you would only need to sell them for 60 cents to have a hundred percent profit return right so you buy 10 for for 30 cents and then you sell 10 for 60 cents you made a hundred percent profit so there's card stores, physical card stores that probably get lots of foot traffic and they say, hey, buy our cheap little dinkly do packs and how they supply it from guys like me, from, you know, just various sources like that. And that's it. So the Despicable Mystery Cube. It, well, exactly. Uh, there's places in Target and Walmart where they will have like obvious repacks that are designed by companies and they're like, yeah, you can hit the shiny Charizard. Sure. And then you buy it, and they make maybe a very good profit. There is a good opportunity for third grading entities to spin up to compete with PSA CGC this year. BGS, CGS, GMA just aren't in the same tier. How many cards do you typically put in the bulk ETBs? Uh, I couldn't tell you because I don't know, but what I can tell you is when I'm packing up the ETB, I fill it to the brim. So every little space in that ETB is all the way full, and it's just whatever comes out of this pile. Could be anything. Um, I've actually had someone tell me one time that I missed like a GX. I was like, oh, really? <laughs> so, but that's extremely rare. Uh, but I, apparently it happened one time, and I felt very bad. I don't know who lost their card. Matt says, one in one million chance at Zazard, great odds. I know, right? JC says it's about 500 cards per ETB. Well, there you go. 500 cards per ETB. What's up, JC? JC, I got some cards of, your, cards of yours over here whenever you want to uh, ship. He said, I know because I put my book in them. Ah, there you go. Well, anyways, I stack them up to the brim. And, uh, whew, And I did not get enough sleep. <laughs> What's up, JC? Those rookie numbers, Jonathan. What? I mean, I can demonstrate. Do you guys want me to demonstrate how they're filled? I, I guess I could demonstrate right now. I'm supposed to be opening packs, but let me do a little demonstration. Uh -huh. 
So I've, I've realized that really I need to sell off the bulk at the same speed that it gets generated. And if you're somebody who just wants bulk, this could be an opportunity for you to get it at an unusually low price based on the demand that I'm receiving. So here we go. We got an empty ETB. And I'm just going to create an ETB in front of you. This is exactly how it would go. I don't do any sorting anymore. What I've learned is that if I sort the bulk, I'm losing money because I don't have time to sort bulk. I'm too busy. I'm way too busy to do that kind of work. Uh, there's codes like there's codes like this one all throughout the box because it's totally unsorted. Well, actually, you just saw that as it passed by. Here you guys go. Toss that out. Now, this is it. It just gets filled up just like this. And you could probably hand this off to a kid or something like that. Um, or maybe you're really ambitious and think that you can turn a profit on it by selling singles or something like that. Maybe. They're mostly non-hollow, right? So I don't really see... I think they're just a gift for kids, honestly. That's the way I see them. I don't think about it much beyond that. All right, so you would think this is pretty stuffed, but it's not, actually. So the next step is I take a few more, about this much more, and I really try to wedge them in there so that things don't move during shipping. There we go. So now it's real tight. It's real wedged. Tight. Tight like a tiger. Okay, and uh, next, I fill the edge. Oh, here, let's do it like this. So the edge gets filled up. I can do about two rows of that. All right, so we get the edges full. And it doesn't matter if it's Japanese, it doesn't matter what it is, it's just whatever I'm stacking in here comes straight off the table. Okay, and then the top. This is the last part. Okay. Are they gradable? Maybe. Maybe some of them. And uh, I'll usually take like an empty booster pack or two and put it like on top like this. How much to sell this for? Um, if you're buying this directly, I sell these for $18 per ETB. That already includes my shipping cost, which is quite high. I have to ship these with priority mail because they're so freaking heavy. So that's a brick of bulk comes straight off the table and uh, I uh, these are for 18 bucks and are for people who I don't know what you do with them I just have to get rid of them okay so now you know about those Anyways, let's see what else you guys are ordering. We've got Mr. Miguel. Miguel says five shining fates. All right. We're going to pull you five from up here. And then we're going to take this packs and put them here. How much for your Japanese vintage packs, Mr. Selling any Japanese? Uh, I'm just kind of holding Japanese right now. I'm selling fossil booster packs from the fossil box break. I, I gotta have something, I don't have a lot of, I, I'm sorry, I don't have a lot of Japanese vintage packs and I'm trying to hold on to some so I have something to open on TikTok. Did they accept the offer for the house? They did not. They took the house back off the market. They don't wanna sell it now. I think they weren't getting the offers that they wanted for it and uh, they decided they didn't want to sell. But that's okay. That was the very first house we've tried, so we'll keep trying on other houses. Oh, 
Picking up bros. Will you give away the code, says Gundam. Uh, I probably won't, because the codes are actually part of the value of these big ETB boxes. And so if I gave away all the codes, then the person who's picking up those ETB boxes wouldn't be able to cash them in. Shrinks. Come in at twice asking price. <laughs> Sold. They said Ozark was too good of a show to sell the house. Oh my God. <laughs> and Lanoon. So many hits in Shining Fates. Wow. So many hits. That was all for Mr. Miguel Velazquez. What's up, man? So that's Mike's side. He's got the um, he's got the the Jim Heroes booster box video done and uploaded, and I just need to go watch it and post it and make sure that the keywords are right. Okay, let's find your bag. Do you say you need a new bag? He says I have a bag. Only hot ones for you, Mister Noel. Here we are. I like your sexy waifu uh, Final Fantasy card there. That's pretty neat. Damn, that's surprising. Why did they take it off the market, though? Uh, the real estate agent told me he had received a few offers, the guy selling the real estate, but similar to our low offer, nobody was willing to make uh, an offer close to his asking price. And so he's just taking it off. And so my wife and I don't really know how that benefits him. Maybe he just doesn't want to sell it. Maybe he's going to rent it. Do you think Japanese vintage cards are undervalued? Um, that's a good question. Uh, right now, maybe. Um... Everyone's getting their freaking stim checks, and that's going to cause inflation. Will you sell first partner pack? First partner pack, probably. TCC, you should put your ring on your index finger so you can show it off more. Wait, which finger is my index finger? Is it this one? It doesn't fit. Oh, man, I should have gotten size 13 rings. <laughs> Mr. I have an order coming in for Draven. All right. That's so Draven. Jesse Fetters, no bag, live ship. One shiny fates, one vivid uh, voltage. Really? You just want one shiny fates and a vivid voltage in shipping? I mean, I can do that if you want. As you please, mister. Let's see what we got. Hopefully a Charizard then. Sleep. No bag. Is Biden still going to sign stimulus package thing? Um, negative. He told me he won't do it. Here's Executor Lucario. So unfortunately, both packs were cold. That's for Mr. Jesse Fetters. Um, Jesse, I'm going to set it on the table and say you have live shipping. If you still want me to ship it out live, I'll ship it by the end, okay? There you go, in case you want to try for one more pack or something like that, because this really is just bulk. Where's the bulk ETBs? It's not in the description. Uh, they're actually listed in Discord. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have a channel called TCC Shop or something like that. It's where we do the PSA submitted and stuff like that, the PSA news. So if you keep an eye on that, occasionally I put stuff for sale over there, and uh, the ETBs were for sale over there. All right. Stimmy on the way. Jesse says, ship away, mister. You got it, Mr. Jesse Fetters. Did you have any PSA cards, Jesse? Jesse Fetters. Ah, oh my God. Oh. Mister, how do I buy stuff from you? Great question, Junie. I'll be right back though. I'll just look for Jesse Fetters as if he has a PSA slab. I need help from Morgan John to get his card shipped. Morgan John paid for live shipping a little while ago, but he's not shipped yet. That's because I can't find his uh, international address. I need that international address. Just checking for a Jesse Fetters. Not seeing Jesse Fetters. Okay. Well, let's get you shipped, mister. 
Jesus says, send it out anyways. What do you think of that, kitties? Why is this music? Got a weird Mario music. All right, your ship, mister. Okay. Now we have Mr. Juan Sanchez. He says, hey, mister, two ETB book boxes. Wait, wait a second. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. I didn't do this in order. I think I refreshed. Hold on. It wasn't your turn yet. It was actually Sean Leon's turn is next. Sean Leon. Hey, how are you today? May I have one large custom spot? And also, may I send my Erica's Dragonite to PSA from the Gym Heroes Pack? You absolutely can. Give me one moment. Oh, what a great pull, man. Erica's Dragon Al Dragonair is such a cool card. Can't wait for that to come back. Ooh. Oh, I'm yawning too much. I need like an energy drink. Maybe I should just have an energy drink. Okay, and also a large spot. You got it. Sean Leon. Give me a second. I got to find the uh, large custom list. Here it is. Large custom break. Oh, what if I accidentally deleted this channel? Wouldn't that be really bad? Sean Leon, you're number 44. Mr. Robert Wright, hey, Mr. I have a crazy, crazy proposal for you here. I know you took a risk with me entering the box break, paying. I'm very happy you let me do that. I was hoping for a heavy pack to pay you off. Would you take a trade as I know you need slabs for your games, and would you trade 800 for slabs for the Tyranitar and the rest of what I owe you? Sorry for the paragraph. <laughs> okay, so hold on. It sounds like you want me to take $800 of slabs. Is what it sounds like you want me to do from from your from the slabs that you already uh, have out grading. So, Mr. Robert Wright, I could do that, but first I actually have to know how they how they grade. So I actually have to know how they grade before I can make a trade like that. Okay, so if they grade like nines and eights, it's not a very good trade, is it? You might not have enough. If they all grade tens, uh, fantastic. Well, then you would have enough for a trade. Okay, so. Uh, let's let's give it a little more time and we'll think about it. Draven Alvarado, he would like one wig pack and live shipping. Please, mister, still waiting on my PSA and CGC orders. Can't wait. Sounds good, Mr. Draven. All right. It's people like you that want to make me punch babies? What? Okay, let's start with this live pack. Boop. Hey, that's a rocket dragon air. Uh, looks like a base set energy and base set Professor Oak. The lack of stimmy hype in the Poke community right now is depressing. Is everyone still in shock at the LP fiasco? Pokemons are about to boom. What is up, Cameron? How's it going? Draven. He will have a bag in the D box. Mr. I sent you 24 fast pass. Send it to send it to PSA for our damn returns to come back already. <laughs> Hold on. David, Derek. Let me find Draven. Hmm. Man, Dontrell Davis's bag is too large. So Dontrell Davis really needs to be going up top. Is Draven up here? Fergie Cave, Drake Brown, Evan... So, Mr. Draven, what bag do you have?
Draven Alvarado. Mr. G, have any new custom waifus? Back to back Dragonair. What? <laughs> uh, I don't have any new waifus, but I don't see Draven's bag. Dustin Carpew, Devin, Finnegan, David, Derek Riley, Devin Ogg, Dustin Robertson, Destiny, Dylan, Foster, Damon, Federico. It has a jungle pack in it. Ah, that helps enormously. Okay, so we should be able to locate that much faster now. Because we'll look for a bag that has a booster pack in it. Ha ha! Easy. Easy mode. Mr. What about money owed if we're waiting? What? <laughs> Mr. Robert Wright, it really sounds like what we need to do is be patient. We need to be patient and see how your cards come back. No point in striking up a deal. Um, look, this is how a deal would normally be struck on an ungraded card. We would say... Uh, the card could be a 9, it could be a 10. Actually, we remember one of the cards was definitely not a 10. Yeah, I, we just need to wait for those cards to come back, man, before I start offering you a $600 trade. You're all hypers, you're ready for those Pokemons, man. But you, uh, patience, right? Patience is uh, really important. What do you do on this stream? Nice to meet you, Jasper Duke. We open up Pokemon cards. Joe Biden is funding your new house with these stimmies. Yeah, maybe. Um, even when people weren't getting stim checks, they were opening cards pretty co consistently. Also, I would argue that he's not funding my house as much as he's causing the price of house to inflate. So it's not that good. What I'd like it better is if everyone had a job. I don't like how much joblessness there is. That's really, really bad. That is causing us economic turmoil like you probably couldn't believe because just moving money around or just printing money doesn't actually make us wealthier all right draven i'm shipping you out to the address on file Printing money does not make you wealthy. It actually makes you poor. It's like it's like using your credit card a little bit. You haven't actually made any money. You're just spending money you don't have. What I mean to say is send me those pokey bucks. Jesse Salinas. Hello, Jesse. One shining fate. It's time to turn the pokey tables. You got it, Jesse. My son gets two stimmies. What? Can't get two stimmies. We're going to have to pay for Pokemons using Zimbabwe currency. That's right. Pretty soon, Pokemon cards will be $100 a pack. And uh, the United States will no longer be the reserve currency and have very little influence on the rest of the world. And we'll all be bowing down to our Chinese overlords. <laughs> Maybe that's just how it goes, you know? I don't know. I'm pretty sad about it. Does everyone get a stimulus check in the U.S. or just some people? Did you know Magic the Gathering collector packs are gradable quality for investing? What? Okay, Jesse, I'm afraid this time... It's just going to be one reverse hollow Rillaboom. Why give us stimmies while we could be blowing up people in foreign lands? I know, right? We got more important things to do than just give American people printed money. More money equals better. That's just basic math. Hire this man into the, the uh, administ Biden administration team. Justin says, Mr. Is it true we owe trillions to China? Uh, China holds a certain percentage of our debt. I don't think it's as big as people think it is, but they do hold quite a lot of money. 
And when the United States government uh, prints a bunch of money and then hands it off to you and me, we take that money and mostly we spend it at like a place like Walmart. Most of the stuff Walmart has comes from other countries. So what you're really doing is printing United States dollars, which puts the United States in the deeper debt. And then that money goes through your hands all the way out to all these other countries. It doesn't stay in America. So we go in debt while they make money. That's actually what happens. You should think about that a little bit. Okay. Next up, we have Mr. Juan Sanchez. Hey, Mr. Two ETV book boxes, please. I also have a bag. Can I have that sent with this order? Uh, the bag will need to be shipped separately, I'm afraid. I mean, I might be able to do it. Uh, yeah, so there, there's like a risk to it. Those book boxes are pretty heavy, so it, it, it adds more risk. I think I could do it. I'll, I'll try it, okay? I'll try anything that saves money. They should take dollars out of delicious food. Remember, there's one thing and one thing only that makes you rich. The productions of good and services. We're not doing that. We're just printing money. That's no good. Now everyone's money is worthless. That's no good. Is wifey still going to sell Dragon Ball Super Cards? Name of channel, please. <laughs> She's starting a Dragon Ball Z channel where they primarily do Dragon Ball. Okay. So I've got you written down for two ETBs and a bag ship. And um, we'll have to do that after the stream. Mr. None of this was covered in my communist manifesto, manifesto book. Sounds like you aren't ready to seize the means of production. Shake my head. <laughs> is the large custom sold out? The large custom is not sold out. I can't remember. Was I supposed to do something for you, Giovanni? I don't remember. All right. There is one thing that makes you rich. Rocks. That's right. Pretty little golden rocks make you very rich. So now we have Alexander Hurst, who says, let's try this again. Two wig packs and two spots on the A ancient origins. All right. You got it, Mr. Alexander Hurst. Pack number one. He says, that's for Umbreon Espeon. Yes, it is. It's for the Umbreon Espeon. The large custom boosters are. And whoop, I'm sorry, mister. Not this time. Not this time. Gosh dang it. Okay. And let's get the ancient origin packs. Do you think conservatives are closer to being centrists than authoritarians? Um, the pathetic weak Republicans are, sure. <laughs> You can see how well being centrists worked for the Democrats. They didn't need to be centrists. All they needed to do is become more left, and it worked. They, they still win. So uh, I think that Republicans will be stupid to play a role of being centrists. I think the Republicans have to go further to the right in order to appeal to their, appeal to their base and get people voting. Alexander Hurst. I thought that the Democrats were definitely going to lose because they just seemed too crazy. And nope, the other way around. They got a super majority. Man, look at that. How do we buy cards? Good question. Uh, to buy cards, you will want to go over to the description of the channel and scroll down a little bit, about halfway, and you'll see a little box, and it says uh, instructions. You'll need to click on that link, and it'll take you to the instructions, which are in our Discord server. Everyone who opens cards here are part of our Discord server, okay? Mr. Alexander, let's grab your bag. It's nice to have new people. Austin, Andre, Albert. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh man, I got really bad allergies, guys.
I'd mute the microphone, but it takes a while to mute it. You have to push like three buttons. <coughs> oh man, I'm over here dying. And now I have a runny nose. So I apologize, everyone. I'll need to take a minute and blow my nose. I'm going to the bathroom. Holy man, I was on a sneeze bonanza there. Now my nose is all stuffy. What was I doing? I don't even remember what I was doing. Oh, we're helping Alexander. Holy. Just sneezed like seven times, man. So it's springtime and that's probably gonna keep hitting me. I should probably get some allergy medicine. Alexander Hurst. Do you have a bag, Alexander? I don't know if he has a bag. Achilles, Cameron. Ooh, those are some heavy sneezes. Place that over there. So we don't have enough room over here. I found it. Alexander Hurst, your bag's not that large. Hmm. Hey, mister, is $70 a good price for Vivid Voltage ETB? Uh, sure, buy it all up. I want to buy Pokemons, but I'm investing in guns and ammo. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Man, listen to that Smash Brothers music. I'm loving it. Okay. Um, it says I have a bill from Jonathan Cham and a bill from Gene Hyatt. I think you guys sent me bills when you meant to send me payments. So you guys might want to retry that. Mr. Jonathan Cham and Gene Hyatt, you sent me bills. In other words, you're requesting money. <laughs> Henry Truong says, Hi, mister. I hope your day is going well. I would like two large customs. You got it, mister. Henry Truong. Yes, mister TCC. I would like for you to pay uh, three million. Let me grab your name. There you go, Henry. Next up, we have Theo Lang, who wants one large custom booster. Wow. That brings us up to 47. All right. I love coming home to a mailbox full of Pokemons. What? Next up, we have an order from Glenn Andel. He says, hey, mister, two spots for the ancient origins. Mr. Glenn. Yesterday's ancient origin box break was really cool. So I'm happy we're doing this again.
You got a spot 12 and 13, Mr. Glenn. You're sending me a bill for the... All right, I'll pay it. <laughs> I'll pay the bill. Callum says, good evening, mister. What do you guys think of this Japanese book? Think anyone wants it? It's in the wrong language. I think little kids would enjoy it, but they wouldn't know what they're looking at. I can't believe so much book is gone. It's so unusual. I'm sending a bill for all my past cold pulls. <laughs> Ryan says, I'll take it. Man, I'm tired. Hi, I am new. Hello, Arelli Gomes. How's it going, man? Do any new people have any questions for me? I'm sending a bill for every cold pack. Japanese horsey is nice from Ballast House. Whoa, man. That's crazy. Mister, I'm charging you for holding on to your hot pulls. I know. I really should just give them up. Mister, I just got back to you on Discord dis regarding, he says, regarding the ancient origins, says John Westfall. Sounds good, mister. Give me a minute. Um, so it would cost $35 to grade that pack. Do I recommend grading it? You certainly could. You could see what's inside of it and see if there's another EX. I doubt there's a full art, though. That's up to you, mister. I got some cards I could sleeve up. I think. Oh, yeah, we've received this one as a gift from Mr. Giovanni. You guys think I should grade this? I don't even know what it is. Oh, it's got a warp to it, huh? Hmm. Can it be unwarped? Good as new, as far as I can tell. I mean, is that damage or not? I don't understand. Will PSA notice the warp? Mister, you're bending the card. I know. Who knows what will happen if I send it off. But then when we look at it, also it's got this uh, little edge here that's no good. Um, hmm. I don't know if it's worth grading. It's pretty cute Pikachu, though. Not gonna lie. It's a limited Pokemon promo. Oh, that's so nice. He says, my gift. PSA 9 goes for around $500. Sending him right off, mister. Time to send that Peeves at you away. See ya, Pikachu. Come back when you're worth $500. <laughs> and uh, we got this Rillaboom last night. Remember that? Remember that? Here we go, Rillaboom V, very good. Mister, what's your all-time favorite card? Um, I'm still a really, I get this question all the time, so I've answered it like a bazillion times, but I'm still a really big fan of Dark Magneton. My music's pausing, it better not. All right, it's not pausing anymore. Bro, he looks like he could be holding a gun sideways in that post, doesn't he? What was that? The Kanazawa Pikachu. I love that card, but I can't pull it. <coughs> Excuse me. It's these allergies. <coughs> My throat's all itchy. All right, let's see if anyone wants to open up any more pokies. That's my favorite Pikachu. Which Pikachu? Oh, you know, the one that cost $300. New message. Oh, hold on. I got a new message. To look at. Give me a second. Do I though? Man, my phone's faster than my uh, actual account on eBay. Mr. Who's next? 
We did Henry. We did Theo Lang, I believe. Right? Did we? Wait a second. Let me make sure we did Theo Lang. Yes, we did. Uh, Glenn Andel, he said two spots for the Ancient Origin, and we did that. And then Mr. JC, what's up, JC? Hey, it's been a while. One large custom. You got it, mister. So that goes into the list and gives you a chance for Ambion, Espion, PSA, PSA 10. And then everyone else will get a different pull. You know, there will be some cold pulls, kind of like hollows. There will be some V cards. And I might add a spot or two at the end for to toss some uh, rainbow rare in there or two just to spice it up. Kind of like adding a third prize, right? Which I think people would appreciate because it ups your odds a lot. So we got Jonathan Cham. Mr. Gene Hyatt says, for Rebel Clash, I have a bag. Also, oops, I must have pushed request. So that's right. We have the return of Rebel Trash. Everyone loves Rebel Trash. My favorite set. Actually sells fairly well. Was Maximum Gold always 10 bucks? Yeah, it's been that way for a while on this channel. You're going to snipe Evolutions. Snipe! Well, you know, I haven't seen the Reverse Hollow Charizard come out in a little while. Also, I haven't seen the Full Art Charizard come out in a while. Three, four. You can't snipe that. I'm going to snipe it. Rebel Clash is high-key underrated. It's really not bad. It has Sonya. It has Dragapult. It has the three starters. And it's, like, cheaper. So, we care about that. Sneep. Sneep. All right. Yeah, I remember when Rebel Clash came out, everyone was giving it crap. Here's Mr. Rhyme. Do you collect cards for collecting or for selling? A little bit of both. I'm a very big-time collector, I'd say. I've got a massive collection at this point. But I'm trying to move into a regular home so I can live a regular life. And so for a little while, I'm only selling. Whew. We got Luxio. And Seismitoad. You know, it's funny. That would have been considered like a, a pull, a hit. But I feel like there's been some pokey inflation because now you get so many hits out of the Shining Fates. This almost doesn't feel good. You know what I mean? Pretty crazy. That's how inflation works. It's the same with money. Money works the same way. If the government prints too much of it, it doesn't. it's not worth as much. You go, I don't want that. I don't want money. I want Pokemon cards. You should make a video of your collection. Uh, I probably couldn't do that for security reasons. So, Mr. Gene. What's up, Emily? You know, like, why doesn't any of the large YouTubers do that? Uh, you, you rarely see them going through their entire collection, if at all. I, I think some of them have just never done it. So why haven't they? Well, it's harder for you to steal something that you do, don't know exists, essentially. Here we go. Toxtricity. Mr. Gene. Yeah, better for people to not know everything you have. They do, but everyone that does it has it in a secure location. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and actually, I couldn't show off all my cards anyways, because I took quite a large chunk of it and uh, already sent it off. Because I was feeling a little nervous. Anthony DeLoa returns. He says, one shiny face. I think I had like a nightmare one day that I woke up and walked into my little living room and everything was gone. And I'm like, yeah, it's time for, it's just time to pay for security. There you go, Mr. Anthony. Do you Gorilla Glue the TCC slab yet? <laughs> no, I did not. I really should though, shouldn't I? I could do that right now, maybe. If it's a little slow. I noticed the lunchtime streams are typically a little bit slow. It's the nighttime streams where everyone goes nuts. I get like a line and everything like that. But I can usually keep on top of the lunchtime stream. So people who are here today, um, right now in the lunchtime stream, you benefit from having no wait times. Very short wait times. 
Although I think you run into another problem where PSA, not PSA, uh, PayPal doesn't process your payment very quickly and this causes you to get skipped. Mr. Reverse Engineer and Ultrasonic Welder to build your own. I'm going to start buying during lunchtime streams then, says Sergio. Speaking of which, we have Mr. Jonathan Westfall. Hello, Jonathan. For the pack grade, please, mister, on my Ancient Origins pack. All right. And where did we place those? Do you remember? Oh. Where did we uh, place the Ancient Origins pack? I'm not seeing it. Last I saw, you placed them up top somewhere. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> well, they're not up here. I placed them up top. Mister, you should look up how ultrasonic welder work. It's very interesting. I did. I learned all about it. It's so cool. Two bags. I would have put them right here. This is like a default location. Right here. I was right. I did put it there. Haha. -ha. And now I will add it to the grating. You kind of tricked me there, mister. You told me it was up top. I would have actually looked up top for like 10 minutes, but I'm like, that doesn't make sense. What happened to Kitty? Uh, Kitty's still here with us. She still pukes almost every day. And we cleaned it up. And the last thing we did is we went to Petco and tried to figure out a new cat food. And they gave us another new cat food. And she's throwing that up too. So that's still not there. Or that's still not working. Kitty, how can you be puking so much? Mister, you have forsaken us. What? What are you talking about? I don't think he knows what he's talking about. I think he's confused. Oh, let's see. Oh. Mr. Eric Guzman wants three live boosters and a cosmic. You got it. Have you tried wet food, not dry? Yes, we've tried the wet food. We've tried everything, it feels like. Got me going, thought Kitty was no more. <laughs> She's on the couch right now, in fact. Pack number one is Slowpoke. Hmm. Pack number two. Ooh, Full Art Rillaboom. And pack number three. Just Hollow Senna Scorch. I'm sorry, man. Maybe you felt like now was the time to strike. I'm afraid it was not. I'm afraid it was not. You got to go. Have a nice day, Mr. Brasman. We feed my cat chicken livers, and she became very healthy. Oh, let me go get some chicken livers. He says, no, not the set of scorch. Eric Guzman. All right. Well, at least your cosmic came out all right. The Arceus Dialga Palkia GX. Stimmy going to have gas at 350 a gallon, is it? Man. People are saying some mean things about it. Actually, I think one politician was saying, look at all this money. We could have just given Americans a direct check of like $5,000 each. And it's actually, he was saying something like, it's kind of sad that Americans are getting so little of the money that's being passed. I was like, yeah, give me some of my money. It's my money and I want it now. <laughs> Out of control spending. How do you guys feel about that? Do you guys feel like the government spends your money wisely? How many of you guys here would say that you feel that the government is good with your money? Can you not, he says, can you not change setup and pull odds of things after you start collecting money from them? What? I don't know what you mean by that. I've never felt, I've never felt that confident in the government. George Bush was never that good. I, you know, it was a pretty slow recovery under Obama, Donald Trump, out of control spending, and the Democrats now, I don't expect anything different from what the Trump administration was doing with out of control spending. Spend, 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 man, until we crash. Theo Lang, three sword and shield base set, mister. You got it. 
If you have children, you will get three thousand six hundred per kid. Jesus, dude. Why are we sending money to other countries when we are when we are economy under control? Gas is like four bucks in California. Mike says, says you what? Gas will go back up to four bucks this summer with Biden. Mr. Counting Kitty as kids. I really ought to. Kitties should count, in my opinion. This is actually a hit, in my opinion. This is Reverse Hollow Pikachu. Pack Fresh. Looks like he has a shot at a straight 10. This is a gradable card. So that's a card you would grade. Here's Quillfish. See, Quillfish is a card nobody cares about. Sorry, Quillfish. A little teardrop. And Orangaroo Bolton. I'm sorry, mister. Those were not the hot base set packs you thought they'd be. All right, place those to the side. Your fossil packs are a bit overpriced, says Chris Bot. They are a little pricey. Let me ask you this. Is there somebody else breaking fossil right now, or am I the only one breaking fossil? Is that gradable even with the new grading prices? Is that gradable even with the new grading prices? Yeah, of course. Why do people always focus on a single person, a.k.a. the president? He doesn't even make these decisions in reality. He explained why. Should I invest in baby making? You should invest in baby making ASAP. Sounds good, Mr. Kerspot. Scuba Moto says you're only big YouTubers barely break first edition boxes, says Giovanni. Mr. Theo Lang. What if I was to argue that he's underpriced? Could I make that argument? But I don't know. Anyways. Thanks for bringing it to my attention, mister. I was a little curious. Make sure you make multiple. Congress is a massive issue in the U.S. I feel we really need term limits and more secure elections. Yeah, actually, uh, one of the Supreme Justices was talking about that. He was talking about how secure are our elections, really. Mr. Grade that Pikachu. You got it, mister. Theo Lang. Steven, Steve Herrera, he says, I have a bag and I'd like two vivid voltage for the lunchtime stream. You got it, Mr. Steve. What we need is for every state to be its own government so the power actually comes back to the people. Sneep. All right. Pack number one. Trombeak. That's the way it works already. Pack number two is Ryolu. Man, these are a little bit cold. He says the flaring is 1.4K. Damn, I have six of them. I know, he's so nice. Let's go find Steve's bag. Everything went up in price. Are you impressed, JC? You're basically pokey wealthy. Scott, Sergio, Sergio, Steve Herrera. There's a little more than usual of Wasi boxes. He says, very impressed. Woohoo! Lee Montoya. Hello, Lee. He says, one large custom booster, one shiny fart. I should have two bags that need to be put together. And I have a bulk box. Thanks, mister. Tell Kitty I said hi. Kitty, I'll tell Kitty that you say hi, but she's not going to respond. She's a selfish bitch. Freaking Kitty. What do we got? Oh, nice. Shiny dart tricks from the set that keeps on giving. Okay, throw this over here. I think the states should detach themselves from the government and become their own. If you don't want to buy, don't buy it. Well, you know I tried, Alex, but scout bots try harder. Oh, man. Scout bots, guys. Is that going to be the future from now on? They should just make it illegal. Just just straight up make it illegal to use bots to buy stuff off of websites. Problem solved. Why are you getting so defensive? Here we go. We'll toss this over here. And let's go grab... 
two box, two bags for Mr. Lee. Lee says he has two bags. Lee Montoya. Kyle, Kyle, Keller, Lumberjack, Kai, Kyle, Lenin, Luca, Lewis. Uh, my, my thoughts on the fossil box are this. Uh, I'm just trying to raise funds for moving, first of all. And I'm probably willing to wait out the boxes and see if they go up in price. They generally do, by the way. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but they, they generally do go up in price. And you're going to be here on this channel in the box break, so you'll be with us. Uh, you know, so it's not as simple as just getting, you know, the cheapest unit price possible. If you want to do that, go buy it from some stranger um, and, uh, you know, go open it at home. So you can get the cheapest unit price if you want. So it's, you're, you're buying into a, a booster pack here and having it opened here and... Uh, maybe if if zero of them sell after like a full week, maybe I will lower the price a little bit. I don't know. But I really I'm I'm giving it up because I, I see the I see the fossil box this way. It's like one of the most secure things I have. It's it is just going to go up in price. There's no question about it. I've been watching it for over a year. And it is going to go up in price. I I just have no doubt about it at this point. And so if I want to sell the packs at those price, what that means is I'm willing to wait for it to move up to that price. That's what it means. And that's because I know a month from now, my wife and I probably won't be moved. And the price of those packs, however much they move, they will. They'll move a little bit even. They just, every month they move. Yeah, I've been watching them for a long time. All right. So, uh, can we let's move off of that subject, please, guys? Let's let's not have a uh, let's not have a big debate over that. Just put spots in the wig pack, says Eddie Petty. Yeah, I mean we might do that, definitely. Mister Lee, he says I have two bags. I didn't see two bags for you. You got two bags, Mister Lee? Let me check in here one more time. If North Carolina and South Carolina went to war with each other, who who would win? That's a great question. Kyle, Kyle, Keller, Lumberjack, Kai, Lenin, and Lewis. So, Mr. Lee, we'll, have to, we'll go looking for your bag a little later, okay? I don't know what your second bag is. Uh, maybe you have, like, an overflow bag or something that I don't know about. All right. Yeah, let's move on to a new topic. The guy who makes the TikToks with the sir, sir, give me that got his TikTok banned. He had to start a new one. How did he get banned? Oh, that's terrible. All right. The nice thing about the nice thing about the price of the cards is if you don't like it, you just don't buy it. It's not too complicated. Mr. Theo Lang is next. He says, Mr. I like that reverse hollow Pikachu. Could we send him to CGC tier one? You got it, Mr. Theo Lang. And here he is. How is my day? My day's been uh, extremely busy. It typically is. Uh, but, you know, it's just how it is. All right, and I'll go ahead and sleep this up. Mister, show us the slabs, the ones on the table. All right, I'm showing all the slabs. Mister Theo Lang, can I have a bag? You sure? You sure can. That's gonna say C, one plus. There you go. Good luck with your grade, man. Maybe you'll get a pristine. That'd be really cool. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna make an only fan. It's gonna be to it's going to be of kitties and Pokemans. That's right, me too. Gorilla glue, one of my cards. Only fans check. What? 
we do a little thing here? Man, that's pricey. Trainer Theo says, thanks, mister. Hey, mister, I sent a message to ship my cards in Discord. Anything else you need from me? Says Nathaniel. Ship my cards. Nope, that should be it. You know, the, the message can include whether or not you have PSA cards or not. And, uh, yep, you're good. You're set to go. I'll make an OnlyFans for Steven Stawn in Pokemon Sapphire only because my real name is his. So, I tell you guys what. Um, since we have a new booster box break going... I know we've got a lot of these. We've got a lot of these right now. We'll go ahead and get a list going for a pack of uh, fossil. That's what we'll do. We got a little too many of these running right now. So eventually, when the uh, ancient origin ends and when the large ends, maybe we won't do those anymore for a little while. I'll do a lot for some Pokemon, says Tom Riddle. Okay, here we go. What what are in the large customs? Uh, so the large custom booster box is going to be... Third, uh, I'm, it'll probably be 76 packs of booster packs that I assemble myself with hit pulls and with... Two very large ch uh, chase pulls, Umbreon and Espeon PSA 10. With the Fossil Custom Booster Box, uh, it's kind of similar. I'll have 36 packs and one very hot chase pack with a Fossil Booster Pack in it. Fifteen. I think that's what Frosted Caribou is doing, showing off Pokies and OnlyFans. Oh my God, Frosted Caribou has an OnlyFans. Jesus Christ. My wife's OnlyFans in the top one percent. That sounds like it'd be a good title. Actually, I think if I put OnlyFans in the title, I'd probably get in trouble. Twenty-eight. Okay, and this will be priced at $23 a pack, Fossil Custom Boosters. We open them when they all sell out. There will be a variety of hits. However, there will be one very large hit, and the very large hit is the actual Fossil Booster Pack. You'll then be added to the list. Okay. Caribou for sure does not have OnlyFans, does she? Because I'll join if you dare me. Freedom of speech issue. Come to Florida, Texas, the only part of the USA where you still have freedom of speech. <laughs> Large custom booster list is on Discord. That's true. Yes. Just read, mister. Time to stave up. Sounds good, mister. Alex PSX. Cooter says, hey, mister, did you add lead to the large custom booster? Oh, good question. Did I? Let me just double check. Did I make a mistake? I'm so busy looking at your guys' conversation. I probably made a mistake. Let me see. I am Lee Montoya. One large custom booster. And it looks like I missed him. Sorry about that, Mr. Lee. We'll get you right now. Mr. Lee. There you go. Okay, give me a minute. So, back over on the PayPals, let's do a refresh. Mr. One Fossil and Eight Easy Payments. <laughs> Florida drivers are the worst. You already know I got spot number one, says Eddie Petty. Heck yeah, maybe. <laughs> do you? 
All right, so let's see. What would you guys like to do for now? It's a little bit of a slow day. There's no wait time. There's no wait time on ordering right now. We are a little past the hour mark. Usually we have a short daytime stream. He says, that wasn't a joke. Cheese, you want in the fossil break? All right, Cheese, we're getting you in the fossil break. What the heck? Now I got four of them? Bro. When am I buying a gold coin? Uh, not for a while, obviously. Again, I, I'm on a buying freeze. I'm not buying anything. And that is because I got to get moved. Once I moved, once I'm comfortable, we can go crazy. We can do whatever we want. Uh, I got to get moved. I'm afraid that's the way it is. That's just the way it is. Probably going to cut a Shining Fates. Oh, my God. Jeez, are you okay? Mister, I would like to see the slabs on the table. You'd like to see the slabs on the table? Well, there they are. Did you get my name down for two slots in the Ancient Origins? Oops. Let me just take a quick look. In fact, I did. No, I didn't. I got one spot for you. Oh my gosh, Jonathan Westfall. Here you go, spot number two. Jonathan, I'm so sorry. I'm just... Everything's going wrong right now. I'm feeling very underslept, and I have allergies, and I'm working too much. Did you guys see what we did, by the way? Take a look at this. Where's all the trash? Oh my gosh, the trash is gone. Where's all the bulk? The bulk is gone. So I was working on that all day. Thank you, mister. You have a lot going on. Well, I'm just glad we can always fix it as long as we communicate well. So if you're paying attention, you'd be like, that doesn't look right. I can always go back and fix it for you or uh, get your money back. Do you have any sweet coons? Says Cooter Holder. Uh, I'm going to show you a sweet coon that my wife has. Give me a minute. I bought it for her a while back. We have this beautiful sweet coon. You want to see it? It's like dusty. That's how long it's been sitting around. There it is from Lost Thunder. Man, what a great card. Making me want to open some Lost Thunder. Actually, let's see if I wrote the price down on the back of it. Nope. I believe I bought that for $75 back in the day. $75. 75. And now he's going for 300. It's pretty wild, actually. 300? Is that good? Is that a good price or a bad price? Let me think about it. Change your mind, probably wise. I don't like the background on those GXs. It's kind of hard to see, to be honest. With him being blue and the background is also blue, uh, he kind of blends in. You ordered a snipe, automatic snipes. Guaranteed. Hmm. I'll open a first edition fossil with you guys. I'll just have to buy a heavy one. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, let me go ahead and close this and close this. I'll, you'll get a heavy. I'll put side bets on that easily. Let's go ahead and refresh. And what is this music, dude? This music's terrible. That's why I'm not in the best mood. We gotta get some good music. There we go. Holy cow, man, that music was so freaking ominous. What were we listening to? Something was putting me in a mood. I'm like, what? And then I realized the music's like weighing on me. 
like uh, like sticky water or something. That doesn't sound right. Next up, we got Mr. Eddie Petty, spot number one in the Fossil Custom Booster Box. Dude. And after Eddie Petty, we have Andrew Edward, who wants two life packs. Mr. Andrew Edward, pack number one. Oh! PSA 10, SV3. Congratulations! And Decidueye! That's what he evolves from. Woo! He says, that's a snipe. It is a snipe for Mr. Andrew Edward. Andrew, Alexander, Adam, Alex, Andrew Kim, Austin, Andre, Albert, Andrew, Alex, Andrew Green. Where is Andrew Edward? No bag. Uh, let me ask you something. Do you want this decidueye? If you do, I will totally get you a new bag. Let me write... Andrew Edward on the back. He says, nah, all right. So he just put it in this little pile and he'll be reused probably. Thank you so much. And you got a slab now. Sweet. Don't tell all your girlfriends at once. Mr. Carl, what's up, Tensburg? He says, one wig booster. I doubt I'll get anything and live shipping. I want those nudes. Tensburg. Oh, man. Andrew Edward just swept right before. So sorry, man. What the heck? What the heck? Dude, he sniped hard. All right. <laughs> Tenzyberg. I'm always one off, says Tenzyberg. The freak? Here's Mr. Tenzyberg. Here, Tenzenberg, have a fun little bonus card. We got Eevee. Eevee VMAX. I'll move all this. What is this music? This music's way better. Man, I'm feeling like dancing now. Just walked out my local BJ's. They had about 300 Tapu Coco boxes, Steam Siege, Guardian Rising. Ew. Ew. Tapu Coco and Guardian Rising. More like Pee Pee Rising. Mmm. Give me some of that Guardian Rising. All right. Let's print label. Ew. Ew. I'll be right back. Why is there an ant on this table? There should not be ants. Up next, we have Mr. Cheese. He says, cut a shining face. Oh, my Lord. You got it, Mr. Cheese. So it's these two, right? All right, are you sure, Cheese? Cheese, are you sure? Cheese. You don't want to do it, Cheese. It's Cherry's Hard. Cheese, what if it's Skyla, dude? What if it's Skyla? 
He says, hey, hey, hey. All right, let's do it. Come on, cold pack. And it is a cold pack. Woo! Oh, my Lord. Cheese is out of control, man. Just for a moment, Cheese felt alive again. Is this what it's come to, he said. He says, what if it's nothing? It is nothing. How did you know, Cheese? Cheese, you're psychic. You're pokey psychic. For the pokey gods, that's right. Now we have Mr. Cameron. Hello, Cameron. Hey, Mr. Let's grade the Rainbow Rare Lapras Tier 1 CGC with subgrades and three darkness. All right, one, two, three. Oops. One, two, three. And Cameron, where am I going to find Cameron's bag? I love how we put po Pokey in front of every word or term. Don't be Pokey stupid, Pokey Chan. Here for the free chicken tendies. All right, we got free chicken tendies. And he says CGC1, right? With subgrades, huh? Pokey said, I was told there would be pie. Bro, I want some pie. What's up, Mike Lamb? How's it going, man? Mike Lamb with the Master Ball. That's so cool. We got a number of people with Pokeballs now. The uh, Master Balls. What do we got? We've got Crobat V. Do I still have bulky TBs? I got bulky TBs for days, man. So if you want a bulky TB, that is fine. How much are the fossil repacks? So the fossil custom booster packs are $23. There's a total of 36 of them. And one person will probably find a chase pull of uh, fossil. And then there'll, there'll be 36 other packs with different hit pulls, okay? Different pulls. Could be a V, could be hollows, probably lots of hollows. Uh, there might be one rainbow rare. I don't know. Okay. All of this going to Mr. Cameron. Here you go, Mr. Cameron. And uh, what would you guys like me to do? Would you guys like me to open up some packs for myself? Or would you like me to price all my slabs? He says, that's a nice looking Suicune. This is my wife's Suicune. Look how nice it is. It is a nice card. Oh, very pretty. Story time, price of the slabs. Uh, it's pretty well split. Um, hmm. Open, open, price slabs. Mr. Dropped a big order, can't wait. You dropped a big order. Hold on, let me take care of this guy because he shouldn't have to wait. There's like no wait time right now and he's got a big order and I want to make sure he gets his cool stuff. Okay, let's see. Mr. Alex Veneration says one fossil spot and one McDonald's. You got it, Alex. So guys, for uh, the duration that we're getting this fossil box break going, we will have something called the Fossil Custom Booster. This is a booster box of, of Pokemon custom packs. They'll contain all kinds of stuff, but at least one of them will have a Fossil Booster pack in it. That's for Alex Veneration. There you go, Alex. He also wants a McDonald's, huh? Mr. Alex... He pulls Turtwig. All right, Turtwig. Sweet. Very cute.
And your bag, I think it's over here. Here it is. Sweet. Do you still have that Pichu? I do still have that Pichu, correct. I don't know why they're going after me when I don't care. What? So, let's price some slabs real fast. Oh, wait. No, no, no. There's another order. I'm sorry. I'm going crazy. Hold on. Bradley Poland. Bradley Poland says three vivid voltage. You got it, Bradley. Anything for Bradley. Do I have a PP2? I got seven PP2 VMAXs. Nice, Aaron. You, you gave the nicest beard in all the land? It's a little strange. I mean, I'm not going to judge you for what you do, the things you do. Here's Colossal V. We've, oh, double hit, man. Don't you love these packs? Here's a Drapion Full Art and Zacian Amazing Rare. For Mr. Bradley Poland, great hit, man. That's two packs, three hits, which is pretty bizarre. And last but not least, Choodle. I don't know how I feel about Choodle. Choodle got a big head and a small body. Kind of, kind of strange. Mr. Bradley, let's find your bag. Claude, Brian, Christian, Brian, Christian, Christopher, Christian, Brad, Bradley Poland. I had another order for Shining Fates Mister. says Glenn and Dow Andal. No problem, Mister. We're not done going through this list. We got Louis Rodriguez. He says, I need a new bag. He wants one spot of Ancient Origins. All right, for the Ancient Origins break. Okay. Hey, we're pretty close to uh, halfway done then with the uh, Ancient Origins, the second box break. One spot in Ancient Origins, two Detective Pikachu. All right, let me get the Detective Pikachus out. Here they are. One, two. Two Shining Fates. One Champion's Path. One Roaring Sky, or two Roaring Skies. Okay, where's my Roaring Skies gonna be at? Give me a second. These are a little harder to reach. Prime Flash. They're down here. Yes, Roaring Skies. Woohoo! He says, second origin box break. When did we do the first? We did it yesterday during the lunchtime stream. I think it was the lunchtime stream. Mr. West Donini, you didn't pull anything. This is a spoiler. You got a reverse hollow this time. You have another chance in the next box if you want. Mr. Louie also wants one live custom. Good luck, Louie. Oh, that's heavy. Oh. Mr. Louis Rodriguez, this pack contains four of the uh, custom metal cards. Wow, that's a pretty generous cold pack. Okay, let's see what you... Man, that's heavy as heck. Let's see what you get out of these packs. Sneep. I hope I put that in order correctly. It says Mr. Christian Gutierrez. And Detective Pikachu. Sleep. How's it going, fan? Fan, I should be playing Monster Hunter, shouldn't I? 24-hour stream, says Mike's side. Here's Bulbasaur, Lickitung, Jigglypuff, and Gray Ninja. What's up, Gene? Magikarp, Charmander, Molorl, Morlul, and the actual Hollow Detective Pikachu. Next up, we've got Eevee and DDV. 
set this down here. Indeed, he really says, talk to the hand, huh? Here's Thievil. Thievil's pretty cool. Thievil shiny. Come on, Champion's Path. Please have a Charizard. Man, Champion's Path is so stingy. Champion's Path is definitely one of the stingiest sets I've opened in a while. That's Eel Ectrike Reverse Hollow from the uh, Roaring Skies. And... Oh, man, this is awesome. You should definitely consider grading this. What's this? Holographic Deoxys. I didn't know this was even in here. Wow, that's a really cool hollow, man. Hold on, I think there's a reverse hollow Spiro. Here it is. Woo! Dang, that's a cool hollow. There you go, mister. Oops. Hope you enjoyed your pulls. I'm having a problem with my hills warping. Any tip from appreciating this? Your hills? What? Let's get you a fresh bag. Champion's Path is littered with cold and useless pulls. It's literally like you just need to pull Charizard out of that set. He doesn't pull that often. There we go. Mister, your commentary while playing games are good. Oh, thanks, man. We'll talk pokey politics while we play Monster Hunter. What's up, Joa Quinn? What's up? It's Joa Quinn. Mister, how do you feel about the new set confirmed called Chilling Rain? Uh, it sounds great. My hills are warping too. Global warming? Question mark. Definitely global warming, and anyone who denies it is a science denier. Wow, you're not a science denier, are you? So we're looking for Glenn. Glenn, Glenn, Glenn. Mr. Glenn Andel. Glenn Andel says, Mr. One Shining Fates. You got it, Glenn Andel. First of all, why is Zachary in this box? He's pretty should be in the Z box. That was going to be really confusing. And then Glenn Andel, I believe. Your bag's up top, isn't it? Here's Glenn Andel. You got it, Mr. Glenn. Any Charizards? Uh, we haven't pulled a Charizard in a little while. Usually a good sign that he might be around the corner. Picking up. Nice. Hollow Grookey. Beautiful. No more Cord Kids? No more Cord Knight. Where are the Code Kids? Any free coats? I'm looking for the free ones. Next up, we have John Loman. Hello, John. Live ship and a cosmic. Have CS Men's Golden Doodle Birds. Okay. So here's the cosmic. How long is the queue? Not very long at all. Not very long at all. The lunch stream is definitely a slower stream. So if you enjoy shorter lines, this is probably the time for you. Okay, there we go. Like and rock. John Loman. I'm going to find your bag. John, Paul, Josue, Josue, Johnny, Joey, Jordan. John Loman. John Loman. There we go. Lunchtime stream seems to just be pretty slow compared to the nighttime stream. Damn, Yen Smack's using some codes on us. Those better not be cheat codes. We only do legit runs in this channel. Okay, I got your label. 
Let me go get your slab from Mr. CS Men and get a ship. CS Men's Birds. It's a really nice card. Hope you got a good price on it. Or any kind of deal. Am I supposed to root for you or for John Lump? Or you or um, CS Men? I guess I hope you both got an amicable trade. That's what I mean to say. Okay, kitty. Up, down, up, down, uppercut. Damn. John Loman, birds are shipped. Cameron would like a spot in the ancient origins. There you go, Mr. Cameron. So this is filling up quite quickly. Tammy Low, Tammy's going deep. Ten shining fates. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Tammy Low's going for the prize. Good luck on the Shining Fates. Throw that ETB hella far. You're happy for the uh, Fossil Box break? I am too. I hope somebody pulls a PSA 10 Dragonite and uh, makes $10,000 off of it. Whoa, this first pack's kind of funky. Um, it just arrived this way, Tammy. Let's see if it's any good. Seems okay. And it's just a dart tricks anyways. So we're going to toss that off to the side. Let's sneepy the rest of these up. Sneep. 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 We should do some Smash Brothers music. Sneep. All right. It's been sneeped like crazy. Sneeped what your mama gave you. Only Charizards. Come on, Charizard. Pack number one, Eveltal. Oh, man. Pack number two. Oh, that's a good one, too. Shiny Dragapult. All right. Only good ones. Bad ones get returned. Team Yell Towel. Wind Waker music, huh? I feel like I've heard Wind Waker music too many times. Well, you got a Senna Scorch. I don't know how you feel about Senna Scorch. Senna Scorch, full art. That doesn't mean you can't still pull Charizard. Here's Q Font. Grookey. Greedent. All right, Greedent. And. Come on, Charizard. No Charizard. Double Greedence. Double Greedence. So the pulls are okay, but they're not Charizard pulls. You hate Greedent? I hate Greedent. We can hate Greedent together. Together! Best friends forever. Ew, Double Greedent. LMAO. <laughs> Um, you know, it started out pretty strong with Dragapult and the Veltal. And the Sun Scorch is a full art, but these double greetings kind of killed it at the end, huh? I'm sorry, Tammy. It was worth a shot. 
Tammy Lowe. Tammy Lowe, I feel like you're going to be up top. Ha ha. Buy up Fossil to open right now. Maybe when those stimmy checks arrive, they won't arrive for a little while, so... They, they're they they're passing the bill, but you won't get them for like a week or two. Uh, but I expect people to buy a pack or two when they actually do arrive. Next up, we've got Christian Gutierrez. Hello, mister. I would like two packs of Shining Fates. Two packs of Shining Fates, huh? Let me think about that for a second. Right, these guys. One order of Bow Styles. Oh, yeah, Bow Styles is a thing. Shiny Fates came out, and people just started going nuts on Shiny Fates. Okay, here we are. I had to move some stuff out of the way to reach them. Deposit start Monday? Wow. One bulk ETB and live shipping. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do, Christian Gutierrez, the bulk ETB will be shipped separately. Take my money, mister. All right. Pokemons, Pokemons. Must donate one Bitcoin for free Chowie's old. Chowie's old. Aviator says, wait. Here's Decidueye Weezing. That's right. Our digital currency is called Sneepcoin. Here's Spinarak. Nice. There's Tapacoco Full Art. And... All right. Double hits from the Battle Styles. That's always nice. So you ordered live shipping. Go ahead and save you these. Mr. Christian, Claude, Brian, Christian Styles, Brian, Christian Hickman, Christian Rauchy, Christian um, Toronto. Why are there so many people with the name Christian? Everyone wants to be a Christian, huh? Everyone's mom wants them to be a Christian. What the heck? How much are the bulky TBs? Those are $18 per box. If you're buying direct. Christopher Martinez. Here's another Christopher Martinez. Christopher Martinez again. Christopher Bello. Chris T. Billy. Big T. Brian Boltikanski. Christian Gutierrez. Woohoo! We found you, mister. You were in there. What's bulk ETB? Just a bunch of bulk? Yeah, it's pretty much just bulk from the table. 18 a box. What did I say? What's up, Dr. Hazel? What is this music? Can I get one Pokemon? You can get one Pokemon. We're printing a label. Spicy music. Yes, music's a little spicy. A little spicy peppers. Some pokey 
Trish and Gutierrez, your hits are shipped. Your book will go out tomorrow. All right, guys. 24-hour stream today, no doubt. Nathaniel Sellis. Three McDonald's packs. You got it, Mr. Nathaniel. Biden is inflating the pokey world even more than Logan. Yeah, it's pretty wild, man. Okay, there we go. Please leave one sealed. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll leave this one sealed. Mr. Nathaniel. Gene. What's up, Gene? Gene says hello. Henlo. Charmander. All right. Charmander Hollow. Biden says I make too much money and takes my pokey money. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Woo. Mister, will you be grading Dr. Seuss books? You bet. Okay. Sent a message on Discord to ship. Sounds good, Nathaniel. I, I'm guessing you mean you posted in the Please Ship channel. Let's start by finding your bag. M business. I got to get these other guys out of here, man. I hope Mr. got ghost from the past. I did. Did you know that? I did get ghost of the past. We offer Yugi's now. Here we are, Nathaniel Sellis. You don't like pickles? Oh, I love pickles. I eat pickles with everything. It's not very healthy for you because it's high in sodium. I'll probably die of a heart attack. That's exactly why I like them. The vinegary taste and the salty taste. They're awesome. Mr. Jonathan, what's up, Jonathan Cham? I forgot. There's two evolutions. So one more large custom booster. You got it. Giving himself a second chance which is what you need to be able to hit the jackpot and really pick up both of them. Okay, give me a minute. There you go, Mr. JC, you're on. Jesse Bedford says, I'll take one fossil spot, spot number nine. It's my first pack from you, but I've been watching for a while now. Keep up the good work. All right, no problem, just, is it Jessica? Yeah, Jessica. So this is the Fossil Custom Booster Box. This is a booster box of custom booster packs. When all 36 of them sell, we open all 36 of them. There's various hits, mostly hollows, some V cards, maybe a full art or two, you know, kind of like a regular uh, a Pokemon booster box. And then one lucky dog will walk away with the Fossil Booster Pack because that's the chase pull. Okay. It's actually a little bit cooler than some of these other... It's funny because you can, you can, you know, right now you could buy, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe like XY Roaring Skies for me, but you don't got a chance for a fossil pack in there. So these are pretty neat. And they're made by hand and they take forever. Oh, she said nine, didn't she? And I put you down for three. This is now nine. And nine is now three. There we go. Problem solved. Are the fossil packs weighed? They are not weighed. They're coming from a sealed booster box. When they come out, uh, we will weigh them in the order that your name is pulled. And then you'll find out then and there if you have a heavy pack, which is quite valuable, or a light pack, which is not as valuable. And then we will help you keep the light pack sealed so that you can hold on to it and watch it go up in value anyways. And you can always grade it. And if you want to open it up and try for the non-hollow Dragonite, you can do that as well. Alex Veneration. He says, two Detective Pikachus. Wow, Detective Pikachu, kind of popular. Who would have thought? And two McDonald's. 
McDonald's kind of popular. Mister, how is your back today? Feeling pretty good, actually. No back problems at all. No back pain today. Okay. For Mr. Alex. Sneep. And. Sneep. All right, let's see what we got. Lickitung, Jigglypuff, Magikarp, and Detective Pikachu. Sweet! Pack number two is Morlul, Bulbasaur, Jigglypuff, Ludicolo. I sent a donation question on Deoxys. You mean like a super chat? Hold on. I don't see a super chat. All right, here's your McDonald's packs. I'll see if it's in PayPal, if, if that's what you mean. So you pull a hollow chest pin. And... Chico Rita. She's a hot Cheetos girl. You have any from Cinnamon Toast Crunch yet? Uh, you're talking about General Mills packs? Yeah, I've got General Mills packs from the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I have a whole bag of them. They'll give you a shot for the Ponyta. That was all for you, Mr. Alex Veneration. $2 live shipping, Alex, if you want to ship out, by the way. Book box. I have a book box. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's get that book box and fill it up with all your pokey, pokey stimmies. All right. There you go. All fixed. I apologize. Ponito only in the Cinnamon Crunch then? Yep. That's right. That means if you were to buy it from a stranger and you didn't know if it had pon uh, you didn't you didn't know if it came from Cinnamon Toast Crunch, you wouldn't know if you had a chance. Where's my free handies? Mary, you don't get free handies because you don't got pee, pee That's not how it works. Come on, Mary. Trying to trick me? I'm too anatomically correct. Mister, you're going to be rich after the stimmies go out. People keep saying that. It's not really true, guys. Um, you know, I will make a wad of cash when the entire fossil box sells. That will take a while. Um, I've said before, a lot of the money you make in Pokemon cards come from boxes like this, basically appreciating. So, but that's my paycheck. You know, you guys get a paycheck each year. This is uh, part of my paycheck. Oh, what is that music? Oh, that's Advanced Wars. I recognize it right away. That's Advanced Wars menu. So, after Alex, we have Jean-Luc Bookhams. He says he wants two McDonald packs. You got it, Jean-Luc. Okay, we got one and two. Jean Luc Sneep Whoop Grookie. Oh my gosh. That's pack one. And pack two is Rowlet with a uh, non hollow Pikachu. The card conagist, why are you so hot? What? <laughs> what? I mean, I'll gladly give you a blowy, but no handy. Grookey got a bookie. What's a handy? Yeah, guys, what is a handy after all? So, Sean Luke Bookhams, I think you need a new bag, mister. Here you go, mister. Well, I'll, I'll check the box just in case, but I'm pretty sure I've never written your name down. James, Jensen, Jesus, Jesus, Jared, Javier, Jason, Jansen, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, JDS, James, Jet, Jacob, Jesus, James, Jason, James. Everyone's got exactly the same name. At least Jean-Luc has a unique sounding name. You guys are all like, my name's Jeff. My name's Jeff. J 
Jesus isn't in there? Yes, he is, and he's taking the pokey wheel. Jean Luc Boogham's Boogman's. I think I spelled that kind of right. Next up, we have Alexander Hurst, who won't stop till the bodies drop. He says he wants one wig pack, one shiny fates, one shiny star, one vivid. Damn, dude. Okay, one vivid, one shiny star, one shiny fates, and one wicked. Wow, man. Going deep. This is a very cold wig pack, Mr. Just Rares. Okay, and we'll go ahead and snip the tops. Why is the Hollow Tyranitar 600? Feel that I feel that it should be more. Uh, I think you're right. I mean, he's pretty expensive already. 600 is a lot of money. I mean, I can go look the prices up again, see if he's he's gone up since then. Here it goes. Only hot pulls for you, Mr. Delmize VMAX. How about the shiny star? Okay, not Charizard. <laughs> this round is just the Toxtricity. Can drop all that because you got a bulk bag. And with the Vivid. You pull Rocky Helmet and Zygarde. A little bit of a tougher round, in my opinion. People are simping for handies. $2 and a handy. You can have any Pokemon card you want. What's the name of that big-headed Pokemon? Uh, Mr. Mackey. Mr. Mackey. I'm good. That'd be bad. Alex. You're talking about Choodle. Next up, Louis Rodriguez. Mister, if I wanted to send Deoxys out for grading, this would be my first time. What would I have to pay you, or what would you recommend? Um, so with the Deoxys, you would probably send him out with uh, PSA. It would cost you $31 on this channel if you wanted me to send it out for you. You could take it home and send it straight from your home, which will save you some money, okay? So I think it will. Actually, it won't if you don't have a membership now that I think about it. So anyways, you can have me do it. Uh, if you want me to do it, I can subtract the $5 you just sent me so that it would come down to a total of $26. Yeah, so for an additional $26, I'll send your Deoxys off to PSA. Something to think about, Mr. Louie. Tammy Lowe. Hello, Tammy. I'm not giving up. Hopefully, no more greetings. Five more shiny fates. No more greetings. All right, we got five shiny fates right here. One, two, three, four, five. Only Charizards. Sneep. One, two. Three, four, and five. Can I donate my greetings? Uh, it is possible to donate them. Um, it's up to you. We've got Flosal. You want to see more Zards? Well, you're going to see more uh, Careless. Careless, you're supposed to be Skyla. Dude, she looks like she's scheming, man. Making me a little nervous. She's like, I've done it. I've made coronavirus 21. Here's Crobat. COVID 21. Sizzlepede. All right, he's looking pretty cute. And, oh, no way. The ball guy, you did it. Ball guy and careless is all yours. I mean, from a technical point of view, you just got two full arts, but it's ball guy. Freaking ball guy, man. Woo. Careless ball guy. He looks like he's staring into my soul. Take the greetings out. Thank you. No problem. 
Greetings for days. Dude, you got doubled by the greetings. Freaking greetings. Freaking greetings. Greetings for days. Okay, next up, Mr. Miguel says one spot on the Fossil Custom Booster Box. Here you go, Mr. Miguel. Miguel can't help himself. He's like, oh, I want it. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. There you go. Do, 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 do. What is this music? Hey, hurry, mister. Send him before he finds out the price of the greedance. Send what? Oh, yeah, mister. It's definitely a problem. <laughs> I'll pay you in Pokemons to keep, to keep editing. So, after Miguel, we have Andrew Edward, and he says, One life custom, maybe a snipe, if, it, if it's just a hollow, keep it, mister. All right, it looks like you're going to pick up a Greedent. Wow, Greedent, brought to you by Tammy Lowe. And in your pack, you get Grimmel Snarl. So, Greedent Grimmel Snarl. That's pretty cool. Look at that, man. All thanks to Tammy Lowe. How nice. Tammy, where do we have Andrew Edward though? I never, here we are, Andrew Edward. When you're starting GC, I know, I'm still live over here. My brain feels like it's going to break. Jonathan Vo says, hi, hi, me again. I'd like two shiny face. I have a bag. One. And a two. Uh, Mr. Fan, did, did the demo already come out? It says it's the 11th. Is that right? Sneep. Here goes. Rowlet. And Cacneo. Greedens won the eating challenge of Pokemon Journeys. He's so greeted. Mr. Jonathan Vo, I'm so sorry. Somehow you got the two cold packs. Whew. Well, early access streamer already starting, so that's why I'm asking. Yeah, so I was given the same early access. Um, man, I don't just say fan. Fan, I'm trying to raise. I'm trying to raise some cash. To get moved out to a new home and i know i could do a two-hour stream here and sell pokemon cards all day or i could do a two-hour stream on the monster hunter channel where maybe i'll get a 20 one 20 donation maybe the channel is over there pretty quiet because i haven't been streaming daily over there and um yeah i don't know man he says no that's good yeah it is just a demo after all it's not the real game. The real game hasn't come out, but I, I do I, I do think I should probably try to stream it. He says, just asking. No problem, man. Yeah, I should probably try to stream it. I was just remembering last time. Last time I did the early demo, we did get some viewers. I don't think, I don't think, um, yeah, I don't know. It's because I'm over here working every single day on this channel. This channel has become pretty successful. Mister, I can't get over how cool this is. Smash the like button if you agree. Oh, thanks, man. Hey, mister, did my Ancient Origins order go through? Says Cameron. I think it did. Mr. Cameron. Cameron Andrews on 16. All right. Whew. If only I could, like, split in two and do both channels at the same time. I, it's driving me crazy, actually, because I want to go work the other channel. I completely missed that. Thank you, mister, says Cameron. No problem, man. Okay, so we helped Andrew Edward, Jonathan Vo. It looks, it looks like we should wrap up here because the orders are all caught up, and we are at the two-hour mark, which the daytime stream is just two hours. 
So I'd like to go ahead and wrap up here and um, wish you guys all a good day, and I'll be on later tonight. Is there a price on the Flareon slab? Uh, yes. Justin says, did you see my order? Uh, your order might not have come in yet, or it might have come in later. Let me see. Justin Huerta, here it is. He says, hello, one fossil custom booster and one hot ass shining fates, please. You got it, mister. You know, I think what happens in the lunchtime stream, I'm, I'm always caught up. I wish there was a simple way to explain this. I'm gonna explain it. Let's get your order first. Let me, let me explain to you guys how the list works and how, how I missed them. So the list, you know, it's kind of like this. And I read up because uh, brand new ones show up here and I get the latest one. So I work up. And what happens is, let's say the list is all caught up. We're all the way at the top. We're all the way done. And... John Huerta, uh, it was it was uh, Justin Huerta, he makes an order. What happens is his order could take 10 minutes to process before it actually shows up in the list. But where does it show up when it shows up? Does it show up up here? No. Uh, PayPal actually puts it down here beneath the transactions I'd already taken care of. So if I already did all these, John Huerta will actually show up down here where he should have been if PayPal had processed it instantly. So... That happens a lot during the lunchtime stream, I'm noticing. All right. You think I show my feet to everyone? I'm not a feet slut. You think I'm some kind of feet slut? I don't think so. What do we got here? Mr. Huerta. I don't just show my feet to anyone. Galarian wheezing. Ah, man, I'm sorry. That's a tough one. Galarian wheezing. It's cuz it's cuz Tammy Low sniped, man. And let's find your bag. Here we are. Cold packs for days. Sometimes. Actually, this set is still really generous. Shining fates. It just pays out more than the other packs. I wish I looked that good in a top hat says Yen Smack. What? What are we talking about? <laughs> All right, so there was another order. Give me a second. For Mr. John Targus. John Targus has a really large order, so let me take care of this. He wants, look who this is. How's it going? Good. Got any news? No. No news? Okay. John Targus. By the way, what's today? Is it like Thursday? Uh, Thursday, yep. Okay, John Targus, you have spot 51 and 52. You need two live custom packs, two fossil custom packs, spots 10 and 11, and $5 for the big move. Oh, thanks, man. That's so kind. Put her feet on camera immediately. Um, you guys couldn't afford that. That's OnlyFans money. Okay, so two fossil, and he said he wants spot 10 and 11. I can do that for you. Mr. John Targus. It's not going to matter because it'll end up being shuffled either way. So it won't matter. $5 for the big move. And he also said two live. So let's get those live packs. You ready? Two live packs. Pack number one includes this lovely greeting from Tammy Lowe. Thank you, Tammy. Uh, you're picking up... You laughing? No. Vintage Paris from Jungle. Yeah, you are. You're snickering. And Tops Mankey. All right. And now we're all done, guys. We are wrapped up. We're at the two-hour mark. We're well past it, actually. We're 25 minutes past it. My only fee is quip my nails, you simp. What? Only fans. Your only fans? Oh, my God. 
what is a fossil custom pack? A fossil custom pack is going to be a booster box full of hollow cards, V cards, full arts, and then one person will pull a fossil booster pack out of those custom packs, okay? He said two. Two what? Did I only write him down for one? No, I wrote him down for two. See? And we opened two live, and I put him down for two large. So everything's good. And I believe he needs a new bag, right? I believe he does. Spanking my manky until tonight's stream. <laughs> Spanking my manky. Oh my god. John Targus. There we go. What are you smiling about? All right, guys. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you tonight. All right?